Fifty years ago, humanity launched a machine into the void, barely more powerful than a calculator, guided by courage, curiosity, and a cassette tape. That machine, Voyager 1, was never meant to last this long. And yet, half a century later, it's still out there, still transmitting, still watching. But what it just sent back, no one saw it coming. Not NASA, not the theorists, not even the skeptics. Join us on this cosmic journey as we explore the Nobel winner warns. Voyager 1 just made an impossible discovery after 50 years in space. Let's find out. What Voyager 1 just discovered beyond the known reaches of the solar system defies everything we've come to expect from the interstellar frontier. It's not just a data anomaly or a faint whisper of radiation. It's structured. It's persistent. And according to the top engineers monitoring it, it shouldn't exist. Something impossible has just entered the record of human history. And the story begins with a signal that should have never been heard again. Stay with me until the end. Because once you understand what Voyager 1 has found, your view of space and our place in it will never be the same. For months, Voyager 1 had been silent. NASA's engineers feared the worst. Communication had been garbled, full of corrupted telemetry and signals that led nowhere. But then, against all odds, the probe whispered back. Engineers managed to re-establish a fragile communication link using decades-old code written for a system that predated the Internet itself. That alone would have been a miracle, but what the team found buried within the data stream was something much stranger. It wasn't just typical plasma readings or magnetic field fluctuations. There was a pattern, regular, rhythmic, almost biological in its cadence, like a heartbeat, a pulse, coming not from Voyager, but from somewhere near it. At first, it was dismissed as cosmic interference, but this signal had structure. It wasn't just noise, it was information, and as NASA decoded the data, they realized it wasn't bouncing off planets or moons, it was echoing from beyond the heliopause, from interstellar space. Voyager 1 has long since left the influence of the Sun. Since crossing the heliopause in 2012, it has floated in the dark sea between stars, but Something about this recent transmission shattered the accepted models. The plasma density was far higher than predicted, and it wasn't acting randomly. Instead, it formed a wave, a slow, rising crest of charged particles that surged, paused, and surged. But here's the twist. These surges matched Voyager's outgoing communication schedule. In other words, something was responding. Not in words not in radio language, but through motion, through charged particles, through space itself, and when scientists layered Voyager's readings across time, they noticed something terrifying. The plasma waves weren't just mimicking our signals. They were matching our trajectory. Voyager wasn't drifting alone anymore. It was being followed, or worse, guided. Digging deeper, NASA reanalyzed archive data and it wasn't just this year's transmission that was strange. Subtle anomalies had been building for over a decade, minute changes in magnetic field orientation, slight distortions in signal strength at precise intervals, all dismissed until now as random interference. But in hindsight, it was something else entirely. A path, a line drawn through space, with Voyager 1 moving along it like a bead on a string. And then came the most stunning part. The signal spike that occurred exactly on the anniversary of Voyager's launch. It was faint, barely distinguishable from background noise. But when processed through modern quantum-enhanced filters, it revealed a cascading frequency drop-off, mathematically elegant, like an echo or a... Something out there had marked Voyager's journey, had measured it, was keeping time with it. Whether it was nature playing a cosmic trick or something far more deliberate, no one could say. 
But one thing was clear. Voyager wasn't just floating in space. It was on a path. Someone or something knew it would take. Then came the discovery that left even the most skeptical voices silent. Engineers noticed a recurring anomaly in the background of Voyager's latest transmission. A hidden harmonic. One that persisted even when the main carrier frequency changed. This hidden signature was buried so deep it took weeks to isolate, but once extracted and enhanced, it formed something truly bizarre, a tone pattern that mapped into a three-dimensional spiral, Fibonacci structure repeating endlessly. No random natural process produces such precise mathematical beauty, and yet there it was, in Voyager's own language, embedded in the void. Now, this wasn't a direct message, no hello, no coordinates, but the structure of the signal mirrored the golden record Voyager carries. A spiral, a map, a pulse. Scientists are still arguing over what it means, but one theory is rising above the rest. This wasn't an accident. This was a reply. Once the spiral harmonic had been detected, Independent researchers around the globe began running simulations to replicate the phenomenon. But something uncanny emerged. Every time the waveform was mirrored across its center axis, essentially flipping the signal backward, it produced an inverted frequency pattern. But not just any inversion. The resulting signature resembled the outgoing pulse Voyager itself had transmitted 38 years ago, during a deep space calibration burst, no longer listed in active telemetry. That frequency wasn't supposed to matter. It was never meant to be echoed. Yet, here it was, reflected back at us like a cosmic boomerang from deep space. This realization sent shockwaves through the astrophysics community. If Voyager's forgotten signal had returned in this form, it implied one of two things. Either interstellar space was capable of preserving and redirecting precise data structures over vast time and distance, or something out there remembered something with awareness or worse memory. This was no longer a signal. It was a reflection with intent, and then everything stopped. On June 5, 2025, Voyager 1 fell completely silent. No signal. No heartbeat, just silence. NASA classified it as a temporary outage caused by deep space conditions. But those tracking the event knew better. It didn't behave like a natural dropout. The silence lasted exactly 12 minutes and one second. Not 11, not 13, precisely 12.01. That level of precision made no sense for an analog failure, but here's where it gets stranger. During that blackout, deep space radio telescopes across three continents reported receiving brief bursts of ultra-low frequency pulses, not from Voyager's known location, but from a different vector, approximately 2.7 dg off its axis. When plotted, those vectors pointed not into deep space, but slightly inward, back toward the heliosphere as if something were relaying a signal from behind Voyager's path. These pulses were short, sharp, too fast to contain information in traditional terms, but when slowed down and converted into sound, what emerged was a pattern eerily similar to a heartbeat. And this time, it wasn't echoing Voyager. It was matching ours. As the decoding teams pushed forward, a researcher from CERN made a haunting discovery. By compressing all of Voyager's recent data packets into a single stream and applying a fractal noise reduction algorithm used in quantum encryption, she found a segment of data that visually resembled an ancient script. Glyph-like structures embedded deep in the signal noise, resembling a sequence, a cycle, even possibly a language. These glyphs weren't linguistic in the traditional sense. They were mathematical, geometric, but they followed rules, repetition, variation, symmetry. 
More astonishingly, the pattern resembled symbols carved into certain Paleolithic cave sites across Earth. Specifically, those theorized to represent cosmic alignments or stellar maps. This convergence between human prehistory and data from the edge of interstellar space sent shockwaves through a growing underground movement of astroarchaeologists who began asking, have we seen this before? What if what Voyager discovered wasn't new, but ancient? Then came the final act in this unfolding mystery. An international deep space observation team correlated Voyager 1's trajectory with faint energy spikes recorded years earlier by the James Webb Space Telescope. Spikes previously dismissed as distant gamma events, but when remapped using Voyager's newly decoded data as a reference, a chilling alignment emerged. A fixed point in deep space aligned with the path of the probe emitted tiny bursts of radiation at predictable intervals. Almost as if waiting. This spot, now dubbed the Watcher Point, shows no star, no mass signature, no known body. And yet, something there moves, just beyond detection. Some theorists now believe Voyager wasn't merely moving outward, it was heading directly into a detection field, a region of space with embedded intelligence or machinery far beyond our understanding. And if that's true, then Voyager's journey wasn't random. It was a meeting, an encounter planned long before we knew what we were even looking for. We thought Voyager 1 was drifting alone into the dark, a tin can carrying songs and greetings sent into the abyss, like a cosmic bottle tossed into the ocean, we thought it would die in silence, lost to the stars. But we were wrong. What it just revealed, through plasma echoes, geometric spirals, ancient glyphs, and impossible alignments, isn't a malfunction, a coincidence, or a trick of data. It's a signal. Not in words or sounds, but in patterns. It speaks in the only language the universe truly understands, frequency, symmetry, time. And Voyager didn't just detect it, it became part of it. Because maybe this wasn't just exploration. Maybe it was initiation. Maybe Voyager didn't stumble upon a mystery. Maybe it was summoned. And if the signals now reflect us... If the echo follows our rhythm, if the path was known before we even launched, then we must ask the question no one wants to ask. Did something know we were coming? And more disturbingly, is it finally ready to answer? Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.